Hey guys, MWC 2015 and you're looking at the brand new Samsung Galaxy A7. Now that's the most premium one in the A all metal series. Uh, now note that Samsung has revealed this device during the Samsung forum in uh, Bangkok in Feb. So we have a 5.5 inch screen here, full AC screen and we have the Samsung A5. Just to give you a quick comparison, the A5 you see has a 5 inch screen this one is a 5.5 inch screen so it's quite visibly bigger yeah you have the same 5 MP camera of the A5 and the 13 MP camera on the back and uh, the earpiece and the sensors and notification LED lights uh, the very typical Samsung shortcut keys there see it's very very similar on the front as well as on the black on the back yeah so you would have the two soft cut keys there uh, the volume rocker micro usb 2.0 port 3.5 mm jack noise cancelling mic you have the nano sim card slot and then the second slot which like in the case of the a5 will support either a nano sim or a micro sd card slot. so if you want to insert a micro sd card slot you have to forego the second nano sim slot and vice versa so that's a power button on top you have the secondary noise cancelling mic behind the 13 MP camera speaker grill and LED flash so uh, despite of being all metal it actually is very very light it's 141 gram but metal phones generally um, exceed about 160 170 grams so that way uh, despite of being a 5.5 inch device it actually feels very light it's also only 6.3 mm uh, thick so uh, sna um, spec wise this guy is powered by a snapdragon 615 chipset which you know is an octa core chipset that runs in two quad core units uh, 1.5 gigahertz mainly and it has android 4.4 .4. uh, we don't know whether it will be upgradable to a lollipop and you have 2 gb ram and 16 gb internal memory and 2600 mah battery so uh, similar to the other a series phones um, user interface you won't see many differences there is a you can check out the storage here it says 9.45 but because they have some demo content available here all those you might not be uh, getting when you buy this device it's almost the same 13 MP camera I do not expect different performance from the A5 you can check out our dedicated A5 video to see how the camera performs. It's pretty good, but we have seen um, it's quite soft actually. So at 100%, the details are largely missing. But for daily use, it's just about fine. The 5 MP camera is slightly better than the one on the Note 4. I see, and adjust the exposure well. But that's about it. Again, it lacks detail. Yeah. so there are other system apps and stuff that will give you a deep dive when this device comes to our lab for full review so that's it guys that's the samsung galaxy a7 thank you